this recipe only includes two main ingredients, sticky rice and sugar. Sticky rice goes through three processes of steaming, drying, and frying to produce a super crispy puffed rice cake. The caramel is drizzled on top and it's a perfect snack after all your Lao meals. Sabai Di Pinang, hi fam, welcome back to Sang's Kitchen. Before we get started, I want us all to take a deep breath in and then out. Let all that stress go. I know it is a hectic time in the world, in your lives. We're all dealing with the coronavirus. I hope that you all are quarantining yourselves, enjoying your family time. But also, I want to introduce this recipe because I think it's simple and easy and you all can make it at home. It is sticky rice puff cakes and all you need are two ingredients, sticky rice and palm sugar. That's all. I mean, you'll need some extra pantry ingredients that you should have at home. But other than that, it's just a two ingredient recipe and it's just gonna take a little bit of some time and patience, but hopefully you all have that now. And we, by the end of this, you'll have some crispy rice cakes that you all can chomp on while you're quarantining yourself. And um, oh my God, I hope we get through this. Okay, let's get started. The first step is making the perfect sticky rice and I already have a video, so go ahead and go to that video if you need to learn how to make sticky rice again. The only difference for this sticky rice is that I'm gonna add a little bit of salt as it soaks in because you want that sweet and salty flavor at the end for our sticky rice cakes. Our rice is done. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the rice. You wanna make sure that it is hot. You do not want room temperature rice to make this. It won't work. So let's go ahead and grab whatever you wanna to use to shape your rice cake. So I'm gonna use a cookie cutter. You can also use the mason jar lids to make that perfect circle. So with the very hot rice, be careful. You wanna create a thin layer of the rice cakes. So you don't wanna pack it. So you wanna gently pack it right into the circle of the whatever shape you're using and you want to pack it lightly. Do not press too hard or else you're not going to get a you're not going to be able to evenly cook this in the deep fryer. Once you're done shaping your sticky rice, go ahead and grab a food dehydrator and you're going to put those on single layers. And for this dehydrator, it takes me about 1 hour until I am happy with how dry it is. When we cook sticky rice, we are adding heat to it and that expands the rice grains while adding water molecules inside. But when we dry this, we're reversing the process, but we're only taking half of the water out. And so we leave a little bit of the water inside so that when we fry it, all that becomes puffs. And that's what we want for the crunchy, puffy, sticky rice cake. Mm. If you don't have a sticky rice dehydrator, then you can use the sun. So go ahead, put it on a clean mat, take it out, put it outside, and it should dry out in about a day. So it's gonna take a, quite a bit longer. Now is the fun part. We have our dry sticky rice. I'm gonna go ahead and heat up the oil to 375 degrees. You wanna make sure your oil is high. Um, 375 is perfect. Don't go beyond that or your sticky rice cakes will burn. When frying anything, we usually want the temperature to be around 350 to 305 degrees to make sure that everything cooks evenly. If the temperature is too low, your food's gonna become soggy with oil soaked all over it. And if your temperature is too high, then your food's gonna get burnt. We, we don't want that. So usually if you get the, the right temperature, the Maillard reaction will happen and that's gonna create a very hard crust around your food and that golden color that we want. And then you'll have crispy, crispy rice cakes. Yes, this is my deep fryer that I'm holding, okay. Once your oil is at 375 degrees, go ahead and grab one sticky rice cake to test. And if it works out perfectly, it should start puffing up right away. So this process is quite fast. It's only gonna take two minutes. So we're gonna do one minute of frying on one side and then go ahead and flip it and you're gonna do another minute of frying and then the bubbles should slowly dissipate on its frying process. And then go ahead and grab it out, put it on paper towels and let that dry as you all cook the rest of the sticky rice cakes. I'm done with frying, so I'm gonna put the sticky rice puffs to the side, and now we wanna work on the caramel that we're gonna place right on top. This is palm sugar, and we're gonna turn it into caramel. We make caramel by heating sugar, and then water molecules are lost from the sugar. It is a browning process that happens that creates deep, complex flavors, but also you do not wanna heat the sugar for too long or it's going to create a very very bitter caramel and we don't want that. 
For the caramel, you can use regular granulated sugar, but I like palm sugar because it has that different taste that I think levels up these rice cakes just a little bit. So the important part with palm sugar, you want to make sure that they are chopped up in as finely as possible because they're not going to work when you put them in clumps. It's going to take a bit longer. So go ahead and get chopped up palm sugar and put it in a pan under low heat, emphasizing low heat. It's going to take a while, but you don't want to put it on high heat or you're going to burn your palm sugar. So as this cooks off, you want to, you'll see it start bubbling and it's going to be a bit cloudy, but you want to get to a clear golden color for the palm sugar. Once you see that it's a liquid and it's clear and golden, that means you're ready. And so let's turn off the heat. Let's bring it next to our puff cakes. And what you're going to do is go ahead and drizzle it in whatever way you like. And so you want to drizzle all that over the rice cakes. I want to emphasize, do not eat the caramel yet it's hot you're gonna burn your tongue so let that caramel dry on top of the rice cakes you're gonna see a really nice golden color on top all right so the rice cakes are done I've drizzled the caramel on top I've let it sit for a bit so I don't burn my tongue and I want to show you all what I have right here the perfect caramel cakes I'm gonna come up close to show you all these are to die for I'm gonna dig in one show you how crunchy these are Mm. And this ends the episode. So I hope you all try making these rice cakes with your family. It's a perfect activity while we are all in quarantine. It's only two ingredients. Y'all can do it. I believe in you. And before I go, I have one special reminder. The Census 2020 has come out. So please, please take it. It's online. You have a special code. Help your family and friends also take it. It's important because it's going to show that you want to be counted within your community. So for myself, I want to be counted in the Lao community. And I hope that the Lao community can also do it so that we can get as many resources as possible from the government. If you're not counted, you don't get resources. So please go take the census 2020. Very easy, very simple. And that ends it. So if you like this video, please go ahead, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you all next time on Sang's Kitchen. Be safe. Bye.